Um, before we go to public things, can we get an update from Andy on some of the things we have going on? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, there were, uh, I sent the commission a memorandum on it, and there are two issues. Uh, uh, with regard, as you recall, I uh, sent the memorandum out to the city commission with regard to uh, a records request made to the Arlington Family Foundation, um, uh, several of them, uh, with regard to just to get back up so we can complete our file on on uh, the, the expenditures of, of, of the $30,000. Uh, I had received no response uh, whatsoever, although I understand that there was some family situations with uh, um, Ms. Fagan. Uh, though this afternoon around 3.30, I did get a call from an attorney that the uh, Arlington Family, uh, Arlington Park Family, uh, Arlington Park Family Foundation uh, retained for the purposes of responding to uh, Responding to my uh, my inquiries, uh, the attorney was was quite forthcoming and uh, indicated that uh, they they were trying to gather the material, mm -hmm. uh, and he indicated that it would be about uh, it would be about a, a thirty day period to do so. Which would, that was the only disappointing part of it. Uh, Can I hold your hand a minute, so the other commissioners will know. Uh, uh, May Francis had moved to Fort Lauderdale when you were sending the mail. And you know how we are. We don't think it's important. But as soon as I got your memorandum, I contacted May Francis, and she immediately responded. That attorney letterhead doesn't mean anything. That's the person going to help them put together what they need because they did not file a 990 form. So they're working on a financial statement. Yeah, and 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 and, and that, the, the gentleman indicated that so much. Uh, and uh, so, so w w it leaves us. Uh, you know, I was coming in in, in here th th this evening with the. You know, because at that point I had sent several letters to do to two different addresses, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, hadn't received anything. Uh, but I, I, I think our options with regard to the Arlington family, uh, Arlington, uh, Arlington family, are uh, one: we could either uh, wait for the response from uh, from this attorney. Now the 30 days was some uh, was disappointment. When I was coming in here, my first inclination before I got that call, so if you would, if I at three o'clock this afternoon, I was going to indicate that because I do believe these are public records because it was the expenditure yes. of public monies, that we uh, take judicial action to seek uh, seek these records. Now, given the fact that this attorney called, we can do one of two things: we can wait and see whether the attorney can provide them. I thought 30 days was a long period of time, but uh, or two, we can. File the action, abate it. Uh, uh, file the action, abate it. Let let them know that we're going to file the litigation action. If we don't, at least get some rolling discovery. You know what I'm saying? If they don't have to give us everything at once. But I don't want to be in a situation where we wait 30 days, and at the end of 30 days, we, we we don't have anything, and then we wasted 30 days. If I have the authority to file the action, uh, at least I can call the attorney and say, look, I have the authority. If within a few days I see some document documents. That you know, basically bona fides that it's good faith. Then, then I can at least file the action. Have it. You don't even have to answer it. I can move if you want a motion for that, or you just want common consent. Because I can make a motion to that effect. Because I know she has the material. Uh, yeah, if you can give me the authority to file the action, at least I can get it started. I can work this with the gentleman because he sounded very forthcoming. I but I at least have that clause. That the city attorney be given the opportunity to file whatever litigation it takes to get the records from the Arlington Park Family Inc. Okay. Yeah, I guess I right. had, before I get a second, I guess Commissioner Gantz and then Vice Mayor Miller get their like. Yeah, and, and I can definitely buy into that. My frustration is this. This is not something that was a surprise. And they might not have gotten the letter, but they're certainly aware of it because it's been in the newspaper. They were, May Francis was interviewed in the newspaper. So she was aware of it. And, and the fact that here we are on a Tuesday evening right before we go to a commission meeting, that suddenly now we're getting a response from an attorney that we're going to do something about this, this to me sounds like it's a lot of stalling. So whatever we need to do, we need to move full force ahead on this. Uh, um, I understand there's some, some issues there, and the bottom line is this is unacceptable. I think this is stalling. They knew about this. Whether they got the letter or not, I don't care where it was sent. The bottom line, if they got interviewed by the newspaper, one would wonder why someone's calling me on this. To get this at the, at the last minute to me is unacceptable. So I would move full speed ahead on this. And I hope everyone who got uh, public dollars is fully cooperating. And I hope that is the case with all of them. That will be a second part. I have a